Hello, fellow alchemists. Welcome back. I wanted to go over something pretty cool. So what actually just dropped recently is Phoenix 1.6 RC0, release candidate 0. And we just went over the Phoenix Gen off, which is pretty cool. Now, what I wanted to also talk about, so this is not directly into Phoenix, but this is in Phoenix Live View. There is a new templating engine that can be used in both uh, the live view and of course the uh, regular kind of views that we have and um, basically it's a superset I suppose you could say so it's something like you can use C++ code you can use C code within C++ code but you cannot use C++ code within C something like that it's it's like a higher grade of, of stuff so uh, this there's, there's HEEX uh, templates I think they're called uh, HTML embedded elixir or something like that. Uh, I believe it came from the Surface uh, library written by Marinus. I believe that's how they say his name. Uh, in any case, there is some interesting stuff going on. So uh, it looks like the LEEX templates are actually going to be deprecated. I think they may have already been deprecated and in favor of these new ones. So like I said, these templates can be used across, which is great because sometimes people are getting a little bit confused, like when I use LEEX, when should I use you know EEX? Now you just use this one. Uh, and works great. Uh, one of the issues with, of course, uh, EEX is that it's not really aware of what kind of, uh, you know, like language you're using it with. So if you misdid your uh, HTML tags, you wouldn't be able to catch this. But with these HEEX templates, I guess we can call those HEEX or HEX templates. I may have called them HEX templates. I don't know. Uh, with these new templates, uh, the new templating language, it is aware of you know the HTML, so you can only use this template within HTML uh, templates for now. I wonder if maybe there might be a way that you could use something similar for EEX. But in any case, uh, yes, you can, uh, and it's highly advised to use this 1.12. So I saw some conflicting information saying that you have to use 1.12, and I saw another one that said you can use lower than 1.12, but you have to. You're going to be losing some debug information. Uh, just use 1.12 for right now, just to be on the safe side. You can't be wrong with that. Uh, in any case, I want to go over how to actually use uh, components. So components within Phoenix Live View with using this HEEX uh, templating engine is definitely something quite interesting and quite cool. And I wanted to kind of walk through it. And so over here, I have a, just, this is just a plain Phoenix project. So if I go over here, you'll see over here, um, it's just a plain Phoenix project over here. No issues so far. So if I wanted to go ahead and just create a simple component, so I'm just gonna create it within my views. So I'll just call it my component .ex. And I could say def module dhx demo web dot my component. And I have to use Phoenix here. And once I save it, nothing happens, of course. Uh, then I could define a simple greeting function. So I'm kind of going to steal a little bit from the, the code over here. Uh, I'm going to use assigns in here, and I'll show you why later on. And there is a sigil. You can use this capital H, has to be capital H. And then here you can use this. Save that, no problem so far. And if I could just say h1 hello, and then we could use uh, go back to actually using like that style of eex. We can say signs name. Now, as soon as I save this, you're going to see something quite interesting. You'll see we have an error. Now, why do we have an error? Because we have the beginning h1 tag, but no ending h1 tag. So, like I said before, these heex templates are really, really aware of your HTML if you close everything properly. So once I add the closing H1, save that, we're back in business, right? So I can go over here and I could just remove all this and I could just use my component directly. So how you use components is that you have this, of course, the beginning kind of less than sign and you use the name of the component. So the PHX demo, web dot my component dot greeting and I want to pass in a value right so I'll just say it's Bob 
And of course, I need to actually end that one. So it's a self-closing one. Once I save that, no problem. And if I go back to my page, there it is. So that's pretty cool, right? Now, of course, passing the static data doesn't always happen, right? So how do we handle cases where we have like dynamic data maybe coming from the, the backend side? And like I said over here before, we can use these both within uh, regular uh, live view and also within regular kind of templates. So if I go over here and I pass in name, this is called Jimmy. Now, if I want to use this, I need to remove this and use these brackets and then use the at name. And you'll see, there it is, hello, Jimmy. So that's pretty cool. Um, some other things to know, like within this index template, if I actually import this component, so within my, so this one's gonna be rendered within this view. So if I go to my page view and I actually import that component, no problem so far, but you see it's not using this one. But if I remove that and I just keep that dot there, it's going to work the same because it's going to know that, oh, I imported this. So this dot method is kind of a way of saying, oh, this is not just a tag name. It's actually a method. So be aware of that. So that's how you can use that. Um, so, yeah, that's one way to do it. Now, the other thing I want to also go over, too, is um, this assigns, right? So like I said, this is kind of like a superset of the regular embedded elixir. So with assigns, I can remove this assign. If you actually call the variable called assigns and just use the at symbol like we're used to, you're going to get the same thing, but of course, much easier. So I recommend you use the assigns, works wonderfully. Um, and again, we're, we're kind of back in business again. So overall, pretty cool. I quite like this. Originally, I was a little bit skeptical, but after kind of playing with it before I did this video, I'm quite enjoying this one. I think this is pretty cool. So this is Alan from Legora. Please subscribe if you haven't. Otherwise, I'll catch you next time. Thanks. Bye.